This is a demonstration of how the ping finder uh, is used. So this is uh, a JTAG port from a modem and I know the pinout. But assume I do not know the pinout. At first I need to measure which ground pin it is. And then we try to avoid the reset pin to be connected because when we scan we will pull up and down and if we hook up the reset pin then this will fail. So we know the JTAG pins of those five pins. Let's assume I do not know and then I connect the U-Link ground here and then I connect any uh, I-O pins here. Let's say I connected the uh, this five pins here. Okay, we can see the scanning result. So when you have suspicious JTAG port pins and you will connect them and exclude the the reset pin, then the software is trying to scan each pins and until find those uh, good JTAG pins. So let's see what we will get after I make this connection. Okay, this is how it's connected. I connect the, this is zero, one. Uh, this is the six pin and two, six to five, um, three, and four. This is U-Link NT103 and I have connected the JTAG ping, uh, ping, ping has on it and let's see how this is used. Power on and I type scan and it will take a while to scan each individual pins. You can see it found the uh, TDO pins is on IO5 and TMS pin is on IO3 and TCK is on IO4. And then TDI is found on IO2 and TRST found is IO6. And I'm going to pause here and then switch uh, configuration, like just shuffle the pins and see if we can still connect, uh, uh, detect it. I have changed the pinout for the JTAG port and see if we can still scan it. So power on the modem and scan. Okay, you can see this is much faster. Uh, the most difficult part is to scan the TDO. And if TDO happened to be at the beginning of the pins, like pin zero and pin one, then the scanning process will be much faster. If the pin uh, TDO is on pin seven, then it will may take like 10, 15 seconds.